Hey guys, Lucia, welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I am I'm going to have a bit of a play with neons. I haven't done that for a little while and I thought I'd probably do that. I was kind of enjoying the comb through effect uh, and I'm going to do it with the neons and pillow paint because I want to see, because my last one was a bit disastrous <laughs> with the uh, pearl paints, um, but I want to see what they look like doing that kind of swishing with the combs with the um, neons. So I am using a round MDF, 30 centimetres, 12 inch. My colours will be, why does that say orange? It's supposed to be blue. I put the wrong lids on that. That's why. <laughs> Mix the lids up. Uh, blue purple, orange, pink, yellow, and green. I was wondering why those two didn't match up, but anyway. And my pillow paint will be British Paints Black Low Shade. And I will use a comb to do some swishing. I'll do that one or that one. And we'll see what happens, hey? Why not? Let's have a play. I'll just put these down. Hopefully my paints aren't too thick. I haven't looked at these since I mixed them. Let me grab the blue. Change the um, lid. I'll have to uh, clean that up first. Otherwise, the blue will end up having orange in it. Don't know how that happened. I obviously didn't read what I was doing when I wrote them. There you go. And that <laughs> is the orange one. Let me have a look at those. Actually, they're not too bad. Now, this, uh, these paints are Eralda Di Paolo paints, all of them, all the neons are. I only have those ones. I don't have any others in the neons. Yeah, now these are good. All right. Well, you know, I'm thinking maybe what I might do is I might do a ring pull. I'll do a, or even a, a straight pull and... Do that first and then maybe put a bit of the uh, comb in through. So let me grab a little cup. I can find one. Yeah, that should do it. Don't think I need more than that. And I will pour the colours in.
Okay, it's come off quite a bit down that end. So I'm going to maybe just lift it a fraction and just get rid of that. Just move it along here a little bit. I don't want to lose all of that on that side. I am getting a little bit restless at the moment because I don't have any um, paintings that I want to embellish. So if I have a few failures, I'm not really too concerned because I can embellish them or draw on them whatever tickles my fancy. So at the moment I'm doing a lot of, I'm using alcohol ink markers. I was using the paint markers, but I found that the, it, they're a bit, the paper that I'm using, the acrylic paint paper is a little bit harsh on the paint markers for some strange reason, I'm not sure why. But I, so I started using the alcohol inks markers. And I'm having fun doing that, just doodling and colouring in of the doodles that I've done. So that's been fun, but it plays havoc with my wrists. I don't put too much pressure on them uh, when I'm drawing. So on a canvas, it seems to glide a little easier than on acrylic paper. So <laughs> I'll have to start producing some um, backgrounds for my embellishments and that's what I'm doing at the moment in a way because sometimes, if look, if it works out, that's great, but if it doesn't, I'm not really fussed because I can use them as backgrounds. All right, that looks cool. I actually like that. Those colours are really bright, aren't they? Um, I don't have a black light, so I can't show you what it's going to look like in a black light. But I love those lines going through. They're gorgeous there. I've got to keep that for uh, skins, I think. Right. Lots of bubbles, unfortunately. Lots and lots of bubbles. Wow, that is more bubbles than I had anticipated. So I'm going to give that another quick torch. Just remember, you're not really supposed to be torching house paint and my pillow is house paint obviously but um, just make sure you do it really quickly if you do do it and just be aware that it's really not something you should be doing safety first guys what's the saying do as I say not as I do all right so that looks all right so now what I might do is wreck it because I can, why not?
yeah, good background, nothing exciting. Just wanted to see what it looks like. See those colours? I probably should have left it as a straight pour. I think it'll look better as a straight pour. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, I um, will leave it there and I'll come back in a little while and do a bloom mix using these colours. So I'll leave it there for the moment and I'll be back. Here she is. <laughs> She's a bit crazy looking, yeah. Nothing fancy, of course, just mucking around, playing. It's a good background for some embellishing. So really it's nothing exciting, but I just wanted to experiment to see what happens. I, that's, that's what I do sometimes is just mix things just to see what happens. Nothing spectacular. <laughs> I'm curious. I have a curious mind and I just want to know, what if I did this? What will happen? So colours are gorgeous, aren't they? Um but, yeah, I think the uh, rest of it's pretty dismal, but that's okay. We can use that as a background, as I said. So that's all right. I will now do a little bloom using these colours, and we'll see what happens with that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Just fix that up. I might have to bring that closer, zoom it in a little bit. Um, now, I'm using, for my little bloom, I'm going to use a... 15 by 15 centimetre, which is 6 inch by 6 inch tile. And I'm going to, again, use the Black British Paints Low Sheen. Only this time I'm going to do a pillow. So what I might do with that is not put too much on, she says. That's probably more than enough. Because I'm not really into floating pillows because they don't really work for me. So I will just move it out a bit more and it's just a bloom so using these pretty colours. Do you know what? I might just pick that up from there and just pop it there. So it'll make it move a bit more. It's from my previous one, it doesn't really matter. No, I'm not mixing paint. I want to keep the coloured bit black bits are fine for the corners all right just to move it to the edges no way we're not wasting paint all right now I'll start with the dark colour on the bottom. Followed by, actually, I might go in the same order that I did that because I want to see what happens. Um, oops. Do that instead. Now obviously it doesn't have to be too big because it's only a 15 by 15 centimetre tile and when I spin it out it'll probably run right off the edge. Yellow is the colour I'm looking for. Followed by green. Finally, that green is a little bit thick, I think. And finally, pink. Now, I will use a black selectivator. Right. Or will I use, no, I might use the paints grey. I like the paints grey the best. So I will use the paints grey selectivator. Here we go. 
Kannst du dir vor, ist das ein Kerl? Oh, nichts gut. It's the first, isn't it? Okay. All right. I think that's it. That looks interesting, doesn't it? I'll just let that sit for a little while. It's a lot of petals. It's very busy, isn't it? There's my little skewer. Oh, that's looking cool. I'm liking that. I will just... Okay, it's looking cool. Let's hope the, uh, I might just blow off on the centre there with a the straw if I don't poke my eyes out with the uh, skewer. Hmm, didn't do much. I was hoping it would uh, put in some more cells there. All right, I'm liking that. That's very pretty. It's a little, it's quite pretty. We'll put her on the, uh, Spinner and give it a spin. Oh, I'm liking those colours. They look gorgeous. What do you think, guys? Those colours look gorgeous. At least we've got something good coming out of today. <laughs> Seeing that other one was a disaster. <laughs> uh, let's give that a spin. We've had a couple of disasters this week. <laughs> Must be the week for disasters. I might even do another one. We'll see. interesting still not quite off the edge there One or two more spins and it's gone off here because I had to tilt it off the edge there but that doesn't matter I actually still like that it's really pretty those colors are gorgeous yeah I'm thinking that's it cool I'm liking that a lot that's really pretty. I'll bring it out and show you a close-up. You can tell me what you think. I think I did something successful today. Alrighty, I'll bring it out and we can have a quick sticky at that. Let me just pop that on the cup. Let me lift her up and put her on a cup. So what do you think guys? Let me know in the comments below. All right, isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. I love those colours. The cell's beautiful. I love the way the yellow and the pink and the green, they seem to have three colours all in one 
my little cell. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Colours are beautiful. I'd love to see it with a black light, but as I said, I don't have one. So anyway, I hope my video wasn't too boring for you this week. If you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload the next video. In the meantime, folks, that's it for today. Hope you like my ending. <laughs> Seeing the start wasn't too crash hot. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.